Hi guys and welcome to this lecture on LinkedIn Campaign Manager. So I'm going to be giving you a short overview on the LinkedIn Campaign Manager. So firstly, um, I'm going to show you how to get there. So um, you get there by um, clicking on this work icon here and then click, clicking on advertise. So once you get there, um, it will say advertise on LinkedIn and you, you just want to press get started. Um, now this is the next thing I want to talk to you about guys. Um, <clears throat> with LinkedIn they offer you help from their expert team. So you're able to get end-to-end -end technical support, audience and competitor insights, campaign review and, and analysis, creative or messaging cons consultation. So you're able to speak to an expert for, for free um, on LinkedIn. Um, you know, someone who knows the platform inside out, one of their employees. I'd recommend that you use this feature as well. If you're looking to find out something that hasn't been taught in this course, um, I'd recommend either asking in the Q&A section um, within the course or getting help as well from this um, section here, getting help from the LinkedIn expert team. Sometimes reaching out um, to the actual employees of LinkedIn um, can be really, really useful. But for, for now, I'm gonna show you how to get to the campaign manager. And it's inside this section here. It's create ad now, and you're always gonna be getting started with self-serve. So once you're inside um, this section here, this is the campaign manager, as you can see here. And in order to always go back to the campaign manager, you just wanna click on this um, icon here and it will redirect you. Um, so once you click on this, um, you're inside your account. So my account is Animation Explainers. Um, we're not actually running any campaigns off this um, account because it's only um, a test account that we're using. And um, we can't um, give away our own um, campaigns because some of the information in here um, are, is quite sensitive to our business. So. <clears throat> but you get the picture of what's going on here. So this is the campaign manager. And um, inside here, you're able to see the campaign performance. So you're able to see, you know, clicks, average cost per click, click-through rate, uh, cost per impression, conversions, leads, your total spend, etc. So you'll see it here inside like a graph looking thing once you start running your campaigns. But you're able to see the list of campaigns that we have created. Now, none of them are running, as I've said. But from this course, we've created um, a bunch of campaigns and underneath, you're able to see if it's an email, sponsored content, if it's a text ad, etc. cetera. Um, these columns here are quite important. So the status basically shows you whether or not um, the ad is running. So whether it's, if it's active, if it's paused, if it's still in draft mode, there's an impressions column. So this is the number of times people have seen your ad. A clicks column. So this is the amount of times someone has clicked on your ad. Average click to rate. So this is the percentage that shows you how often people go to your website because they saw your ad. Social. So this is the number uh, that shows the volume of social engagement your ad received. It includes likes, comments, shares, and follow clicks. The engagement. So it's the uh, pay clicks plus social clicks in your ad. Average engagement. This is uh, how often people engage with your ad. And um, both paid and free clicks divided by total impressions. Average cost per click, this is the total you spent on your ad divided by the total clicks on your website. Um, so you want to keep this as low as possible and same with the cost per impression. So this is the total you spent on your ad per 1,000 impressions. So for things like um, getting leads and getting visitors to your website, I'd recommend using the cost per click method. But if you're looking to improve your brand awareness, I'd recommend the cost per impression. So the cost per impression again, it LinkedIn does it per a thousand impressions, so you're charged per per thousand impressions, and um, per thousand people that see your um advertisement, um on the LinkedIn platform, and the right hand side is the total spent per campaign. So it's important, guys, that say for example, if you have a twenty euro budget, um for example to spend on LinkedIn ads per day. It's if you're running four campaigns all at the same time, for example, one maybe two um, different email campaigns, one um, sponsored ad, and one, t uh, I don't know, one um, sponsored content ad. Um, it's important to put, uh, for example, each one for five euro um, 
per day as a as a, a max um budget per day and um, so it's important to you know keep an eye on this total spend on this right hand side to make sure that you're not overspending um, and that you're keeping inside the budget that your business is giving you so that's a performance tab and um, there's also a leads tab as well so um, you're able to see the amount of leads that are generated from you know your your sponsor content in your uh, lead gen forms and your conversions so um, I'm gonna be showing you how to um, put lead um, conversion tracking on your website so that will track it inside here and um, your social actions your likes your comments shares follows per and um, sponsor um, you know email content ad etc and also information on your on your budget as well inside here so that's the campaign manager and um, as you can see there's an awful lot you can do with it and you know probably too much to cover in this one course and um, you kind of you'll learn as you um, start to use it but it's important to just you know keep an eye on the amount of money you're spending per ad and if it's working keep doing it keep the ad going maybe invest more budget and um, increase your your cost and um, per click or impression uh, for the bidding and um, but if it's not working and you're spending too much money kill the ad entirely and you know create a different ad or um, if one campaign you can c compare one com campaign against another campa campaign using a b split testing which i'll be showing you later on and um, but it's just important you know guys to create profitable campaigns and um, but essentially the linkedin campaign manager is the heartbeat of your um linkedin um advertising and it's really really important that you keep an eye on all these different metrics and see what's working and um, what's not working and fix it but at the start it's got you're going to be, be doing a, an awful lot of testing um, to, to see you know what works for your business um, so yeah that that's everything from this lecture and I will see you in the next one